Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. Today I'm going to show you how I made this adorable sea turtle using supplies from the Dollar Tree. So what we're going to start with is one of these little grape vine wreaths from the Dollar Tree. Sometimes these can be challenging to find there, but these are pretty much available anywhere with a craft department. So don't worry if it's not round because we don't really want the reef to be round. So I'm just gonna kind of bend it as much as I can and try to give myself an oval shape. I want that to be the shape of a sea turtle shell. So to make the shell, we need wire. So I'm gonna use some of this wired jute from the Dollar Tree as well. And we can make little wires that kind of arch up from one end of the shell to the other, which is gonna give us something to weave with. On my first attempt, I tried to like just kind of stab it into the grapevine, but I found that it did work better to like actually wrap it all the way around the reef form and twist it together. You don't wanna work with this stuff too much because the wire likes to come off of the twine. Um, I thought that was a little too tall, so I'm going to shorten that first one. But that is going to be the start of our turtle shell. Now, this is what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to trim um, the twine off that fell off the wire and kind of hide the wire there in the reform. I noticed when I started working with it, like they'd almost starched it, the ends, to try to keep it together. I'm always looking for a trick to keep the twine on this wire when I'm working with it. So I just move over a little bit and twist another wired jute around. And we're gonna do this one on this side. I'm gonna do a total of a five of the little wire jutes going down the turtle shell. So I kind of started in the middle just to kind of have that one centered. And I'm kind of just trying to evenly space out the other two. Just twisting those on. And as I go towards the edge of the shell, these are not quite as tall as the one in the middle either. So I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side. I had a vision of the sea turtle and I was so happy with how it turned out. I think it's so cute. And I'm just finishing up my fifth wire. And what I'm trying to do is just kind of making a turtle shell cage that I can weave Dollar Tree rope in to form the shell. Now I used the brown twine because that goes great with the grapevine wreath. But to contrast, I kind of wanted a different color for the rope. You could use the brown rope from the Dollar Tree, but it's all going to be the same color. So I'm going to use some of the white nautical rope. This is the 11 foot rope and I ended up using two packages of this to create the shell. This is kind of the skinnier one, um, but you could use either or. Now for the first row, I kind of just want to weave it through, trying to figure out how I'm going to get it started. And I'm just going to hot glue the tip of the rope inside underneath of the grapevine reef. And then I'm just kind of go through just these three since this is the very top of the shell. I'm, it's not going to reach all the way across. Now on this first row, I cut it and then glued this in underneath. Now you could cut every single row and then you would still have the brown grapevine border. But I chose just to keep weaving it. So once I start the second row... Um, I just keep going with one piece and it kind of covers the side of the reef, but I'm totally fine with that. So you can cut and glue each one if you want, totally up to you. 
And now all it is is weaving. So now we're gonna do all five of our wires. So I started underneath, I went over and under and over and under until I get all the way across all five. And I'm slightly kind of pushing that against the other one, kind of arching it down to fill in that space. Now when you first start and you have like all 11 foot of rope, it's a quite a bit of rope to pull through, but just kind of take your time and weave it through. I didn't want to do more than a couple at a time. I thought it would kind of mess it up a little bit, but just put on a good video or some good music and weave away. I find this kind of almost like therapeutic, <laughs> kind of like macrame. I kind of, I love doing macrame as well. So once I get to the end, I'll either go over or under that outside of the reform, depending on which direction I am coming from. So here I'm gonna go over and then go on top of that one and keep weaving it through. One package of the 11 foot rope filled about half of the, of the shell. And then I'm just gonna start a new package when I get there. Gets pretty easy when you get down the short rope. This last piece almost made it to the end. It kind of did, it didn't make it quite around, but I'm just gonna kind of pull it as tight as I can and glue that down. And then we will glue down our next rope um, and try to make it look as neat as I can when I start a rope and end a rope there because it is slightly visible on this one. So just getting my next package started, I'm cutting off the tape on the end because I don't want that to be visible since you can kind of see the joint here. And gonna wrap that one around. Now in my final project, um, like you can see the grapevine reef on the top and the bottom, which I'm fine with. If you wanted to wrap like rope around those as well, you could. Again, because I'm not cutting, I'm just you know, wrapping, alternating, and I keep going. I find that easier than cutting and starting all the new pieces of rope. But as you can see, it's getting a really cool woven pattern. I'm trying to keep it fairly tight um, to cover up most of the space of the shell, but nothing too crazy. Here at the end, I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough um, but if you just kind of spaced it out a little bit, it was completely full. So just finishing up the last rows here, and then I'm gonna glue that on the inside and cut off the little tiny piece I had left over. And we have a sea turtle shell. I think this turned out so cute, and I wanna continue, I wanna make a sea turtle head and four flippers and a tail. So again, I'm using another package of this wired jute from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna tie that around, form an oval for a head, and tie that, and kind of push the wire back down into the grapevine reef where it's not obvious. And then I'm gonna just kind of do the same thing here. I'm gonna make like a triangular um, sea turtle flipper. They're shaped kind of like that working around the rope that I have there and just twisting it on, just like before. And I'm gonna do that for the other flippers as well. Now, you could leave it just like this because that provides a nice shape. I, however, have brown walls in my house, so I'm just kind of using the wire jute for the wire right here, and I'm gonna cover that with some more of that Dollar Tree rope as well. Now, if you used the wider white rope from the Dollar Tree, you might not have to weave as many rows. Um, it's just kind of up to you, personal preference, or whichever kind of rope you can find. So sea turtles have a little tiny pointy tail. So I did that opposite of the head, and then we're gonna put our back flippers on. I kinda did the tail first, so I could kinda space out where I thought the back flippers would be. And this um, wire jute is really easy to bend and work with. You can kind of get whatever shape you want. And this is gonna be the fourth and final flipper. Just cutting off the excess. 
kind of cleaning everything up here, making sure there is no twine sticking out anywhere where it shouldn't be. Now, um, I'm going to open up another package of this white rope. So I guess this is the third package. So I used one reef, three packages of the 11 foot white nautical rope and um, two packages of the wired jute from the Dollar Tree. And all I'm doing is gluing that to that wired jute and then cutting it and gluing it. Now you can kind of see the ends of the rope and so I am kind of, um, after I cut it, I kind of push those down kind of in the grapevine wreath form. So it kind of blends in together and it's not real obvious that you have like um, any like flyaway like rope ends. And again, I'm working on a, like a silicone mat. So I don't care if I get hot glue on it. So I'm kind of just putting the glue on the on the jute and pushing the rope down in there and then pushing those ends down into the grapevine reef. So we got all the flippers covered in rope and the tail and now we just have the head left. I really love how this turned out. I'm just gonna use the reef form as a hanger but you could always attach one as well. And I'm gonna kinda hang it at a diagonal. Just cleaning up any little strands of hot glue that's left and we have a little Dollar Tree sea turtle. I love how it turned out. I hope you do too. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And don't forget to like, comment below to say hello, and don't forget to subscribe. We're almost to 10,000 subscribers. Dream.